Good day sa lahat. So for today's video, we are going to discuss evaluating functions. What does it mean by evaluating a function? So evaluating a function means finding the value of f of x or y that corresponds to a given value of x. So to do this, simply replace all the x variables with whatever x has been assigned and simplify the resulting expression. In simple terms class, pag sinabing evaluate a function, papalitan mo or magsasubstitute ka ng specific value ni x and then after substitution, isisimplify mo yung resulting numerical expression. So let's have some examples. Given the function f of x equals 5x plus 8, let us answer the following. So I have your five examples. I-discuss natin ng isa-isa. Okay, so let's copy the original function. f of x equals 5x plus 8. Let us find f of 3. So to find f of 3, gagawin mo lang is simple substitution of values. So let's copy f of x equals 5x plus 8. Since f of 3 yung nawawala, papalitan mo yung x ng 3. Lahat ng x sa ating function will be replaced by 3. So f of 3 equals 5 times 3 plus 8. Then we will simplify the resulting expression applying the PEMDAS rule. PEMDAS uh, means parenthesis exponent, multiplication and division from left to right, addition and subtraction from left to right. So this is f of 3 equals 5 times 3 is 15 plus 8. And 15 plus 8, the answer here is 23. f of 3 equals 23. Let's have another example. So given the function f of x equals 5x plus 8, let's find f of negative 2. So let's copy f of x equals 5x plus 8. Let us perform substitution. So, x will be replaced by negative 2. So, that becomes f of negative 2 equals 5 times negative 2 plus 8. Let's copy. Okay, so 5 times negative 2 is equal to negative 10. And negative 10 plus 8. Of course, you will apply addition of integers with unlike signs. Negative 2 plus 8 equals... Negative 10 plus 8 equals negative 2. Therefore, f of negative 2 equals negative 2. Let's try another example. Given the function f of x equals 5x plus 8, let's find f of 3 over 2. So, first thing to do is to copy our original function, which is f of x is equal to 5x plus 8. This time, we will replace x by 3 over 2. So that is f of 3 over 2 equals 5 times 3 over 2 plus 8. So let's continue. f of 3 over 2 equals, remember that 5 here has a denominator 1. So numerator times numerator, denominator times denominator, since nothing can be cancelled. 5 times 3 is 15 over 1 times 2 is equal to 2 plus 8. So we have 15 halves plus 8. Let's copy. F of 3 halves equals. So in 15 over 2 plus 8, they are dissimilar fractions. Why? Because 8 here has a denominator 1. Since they are dissimilar fractions, we need to get the LCD. LCD of 2 and 1 is 2. Let's get the numerator. 2 divided by 2 is 1. 1 times 15 is equal to 15. Plus 2 divided by 1 is 2. And 2 times 8 equals 16. Therefore, f of 3 over 2 is equal to 31 all over 2. Make sure that your fraction here must be reduced in the lowest term. So that's our answer. Example 4. So given the same function, let's find f of 2x plus 1. So let's copy f of x is equal to 5x plus 8. 
this time 2x plus 1, the whole binomial must be substituted in place of x. So that's f of 2x plus 1 is equal to 5 times quantity 2x plus 1 plus 8. Now in this case, we need to distribute first 5 to our binomial. So let us distribute 5 to our binomial 2x plus 1. And then we will simplify. So f of 2x plus 1 equals 5 times 2x is of course 10x and 5 to 1 equals positive 5 plus 8 f of 2x plus 1 equals so we copy 10x 5 plus uh, 5 plus 8 equals 13 therefore f of 2x plus 1 equals 10x plus 13 okay last example given the function Okay, so let's find f of 3 square root of 2 minus 4. So let's copy the original function. f of x equals 5x plus 8. This time we will replace x by 3 square root of 2 minus 4. That's f of 3 square root of 2 minus 4 is equal to 5 times 3 square root of 2 minus 4 plus 8. So f of 3 square root of 2 minus 4 is now equal. This time we will distribute 5 to our binomial here. Okay, so we will distribute 5. What is 5 times 3 square root of 2? 5 times 3 square root of 2 is 15 square root of 2. Next, 5 times negative 4 equals negative 20 plus 8. So now, f of 3 square root of 2 minus 4 is now equal. Now, let's simplify the resulting expression. Ang pepede lang natin simplify dito is negative 20 plus 8. And what is negative 20 plus 8? Negative 20 plus 8 is negative 12. Therefore, our answer must be 15 square root of 2 minus 12. This is now our final answer. So I hope clear sa inyo yung pag -e evaluate ng functions. So I have here some uh, practice exercises. Try to work on this on a scratch paper. You may also pause our video. Okay? So let's reveal the answer. So here are the answers for our seat work. So for number 1, kung hahanapin si f of 7, let's substitute. So that becomes f of 7 is equal to 5 times 7 plus 3. So f of 7 equals 5 times 7 is 35 plus 3. Therefore, f of 7 is equal to 38. 38 is our uh, correct answer. Number 2, let's find f of negative 3. So by substitution, f of negative 3 equals 5 times negative 3 plus 3. So f of negative 3 equals negative 15 plus 3. f of negative 3 equals negative 15 plus 3 is negative so the answer is negative 12. Next, let's find f of 5 over 2. So by substitution, that becomes f of 5 over 2 is equal to 5 times 5 over 2 plus 3. 5 times 5 over 2, by the way, we, we need to copy this. So this has a denominator 1. So 5 times 5 is 25. 1 times 2 is 2, plus 3. So, f of 5 over 2 is now equal to, remember that 3 here has a denominator 1. So, we need to get the LCD. And the LCD here is 2. 2 divided 2 is 1, times 25 is 25. Plus, 2 divided by 1 is 2, times 3 is 6. 
Therefore, f of 5 over 2 is equal to 25 plus 6 equals 31 over 2. So, the answer is 31 over 2. Next, let's find f of 3x minus 1. So, by substitution, f of 3x minus 1 equals 5 times 3x minus 1 plus 3. So, f of 3x minus 1 equals distribute 5 to our polynomial or binomial. So, 5 times 3x is 15x. 5 times 1 is negative 5 plus 3. So, f of 3x minus 1 equals 15x minus 2. So, the answer is 15x minus 2. And for our last problem, let's find f of 2 square root of 5 minus 1. So, f of 2 square root of 5 minus 1 e equals 5 times quantity 2 square root of 5 minus 1 plus 3. Here, we need to distribute 5 to this binomial. So, f of 2 square root of 5 minus 1 equals 5 times 2 square root of 5 is 10 square root of 5. And 5 times negative 1 is negative 5, copy plus 3. So, let's copy 2 square root of 5 minus 1 equals. So, this becomes 10, uh, 10 square root of 5, negative 5 plus 3 is negative 2. So, the answer is 10 square root of 5 minus 2. So, I hope clear sa inyo ang ating discussion about evaluating functions. So, that ends our video. Thank you for watching.